to the Fort Chester Centre and Beckenham Town. And also our mascots today, Chichester Wood. Hello and welcome back to Chai Highlights. We're here once again at Oaklands Park where we face Beckenham Town, who sit bottom of the Ismian South East Division. Last time the boys played the visitors, it was a comfortable 2-0 win away from home. I'm sure that Chai will look for more of the same in this reverse fixture. Plenty of changes in the starting lineup today with Jammer, Rob Hutchings and Clack dropping to the bench, and Pritchard, O'Brien and Moore returning back onto the side. And Ryan Davidson returns to action after being absent last time out. Let's not discredit Beckenham though, as last time out they did get a 2 all draw against Seven Oaks, who sit just below us in the table, which could give them hope this afternoon and set up an interesting 90 minutes. And Beckenham will get us underway here for the first half, as they lump it upfield early on. The visitors like to break forward here, with Moore chasing him down. Cody does enough and makes life difficult for the number nine. Looks to break in between Cody and Dunn and well, the ref has blown his whistle here. Was there contact? Oh, the shy players don't look to be complaining. At first glance, Dunn doesn't look to have made a contact and neither does the referee as he reaches for his pocket and books the number nine for simulation. The home crowd seemed to enjoy that one. Not too sure he did though, doesn't look best pleased. McGee launches it forwards. All the way out to Pritchard. A fantastic bit of footwork to beat his man. Swings it in and oh, Steve Hutchings couldn't quite get on the end of it. It's positive signs from Shy though. Cody to be the one, bringing the ball forward now. Done now. Clark to Costa O'Brien O'Brien with a ball in behind for Bello was he clipped there? he was and the ref has awarded a penalty to Chai and the chance to get off the mark here and well it seems Beckenham have not warmed to that decision as the linesman receives an ear bashing from the sideline Anyway, back to the football, and many times this season we've been in this position. Pritchard from the spot! Ha ha ha! He scored. Never a doubt. Come as you like. And added to his tally again, making it 12 for the season. Kick long yet again by Beckenham from kickoff. Headed away into Bello. He does well to keep hold of it. And oh, that was not a nice challenge there on Bello. I'm sure I'll go into the book for that one. Despite it being a blatant foul, the visitors seem unhappy yet again, as you can hear. I wouldn't be surprised if the referee goes to his pocket one more time. Not for the players this time. Well, despite all the suspected controversy, here's Dabba, not shouting, giving instructions to Honoré. Also important to add, he's no longer rocking his green beanie, but instead a child. An upgrade, in my opinion. And here we go then, the referee does award the number six with a yellow card. Dunn with a long throw upfield. Falls back to him as he plays a ball up towards Bello. Miscommunication from the Beckham defence. Bello could be in here. Bello, oh, saved by Blue. As far as Moore shapes the shoot, blocked this time and cleared away by the Becks. Cody, back to McGee. Launched forwards and the whistle goes for half time. A late flurry of chances for Chai, but only Pritchard's penalty separates the sides going into half time. A few cards dished out as well for both sides, with moments heating up within the game. Still, more to play for on the second. But I'm sure Miles will make the boys aware that one goal isn't enough. And we're back here underway for the second half, with hopefully a few more goals in the offing. Pritchard over the corner, into a dangerous area here. And Cody scores one of the easiest goals in his career. A really 
brilliant cross in from Ethan Pritchard. And Cody was there to make sure and put the lads two up. It was brilliant. I'm, I'm sure that brought back a few memories for the Chai faithful, with Cody bringing an impact yet again in green and white. Clark hunting down the ball now. And he brings down the number seven needlessly. The referee blows his whistle. And just to confirm, Clark did see a second yellow for the challenge. So Chai will now play the remainder with 10 men. As Cody clears the ball behind for a Beck's call. McGee looks to find Bello, but can't quite win the header. Falls to Honore. Back into Bello. Pritchard out to Rob Hutchings. Can he find Bello? He can, and wow, what a brilliant move there from Chai. Bello applauds Hutchings for the assist, and what a brilliant ball in from Hutchings. It was converted at close range by Bello, and Chai go up 3-0, still with 20 minutes to play. Both Pritchard and Bello are both back on the score sheet, and I'm sure that'll give them a real confidence boost. The visitors bring the ball forward, potentially looking to claw a goal back. Swung in towards the back post and, well, shouts for a penalty from the opposition. But is waved instantly by the referee and, well, <laughs> here we go again. Questioning resumes for the Lino. Loose touch from number six and Pritchard pounces. Can he add a fourth? He can! Brilliant anticipation there from Pritchard as he grabs a brace with a cheeky nutmeg on blue. And that is his name. By the way, I'm not just naming the colour of his shirt. That is actually his name. Pritchard makes it for the 13th of the season and 4-0 on the day. A brilliant way to top of a fantastic display for Chai. The visitors opt to shoot off kickoff and, well, almost trouble McGee there as he dives just to make sure. The Beckenham bench don't sound too pleased with Kieran's dive, but with what looks like the first clean sheet in a while, he has some licenses to enjoy himself. A late push here for a chance at a consolation for Beckenham, dummied into 11, who turns but drags his shot wide of the target, and that should be it. The referee blows his whistle for full time with the school finishing. Chichester City 4, Beckenham Town Mill. A brilliant display from the boys. The changes before the game may have raised a few eyebrows but have paid off ultimately. Pritchard got himself a brace and an assist with what was a man of the match performance. And the winning feeling is back at Oakland's Park. Join us back here on Tuesday night where we face the unbeaten Cray Valley. Can we be the ones to end their run?